The Vietnam War was one of the most divisive conflicts in U.S. history, a bloody struggle between the forces of capitalism and communism. It resulted in the deaths of 58,000 U.S. armed forces, 1.3 million Vietnamese soldiers, and 2 million civilians. While some Americans believed the United States was right to enter the conflict, others saw the war as a stain on the country's international reputation as leader of the free world. In protest, American musicians wrote and performed hundreds of songs calling for peace and criticizing the U.S. government's handling of the war. It wasn't the first time that Americans had used music to protest and persuade. For centuries, enslaved people sang spirituals, songs that imparted Christian values while also describing the hardships of slavery. While songs like She's Good Enough to Be Your Baby's Mother rallied women to the cause of the suffragettes. But during the Vietnam War, advances in technology meant that protest music could reach a much wider audience. As a result, anti-war songs like Pete Seeger's Bring Em Home gave voice to a generation. And large-scale events like the Woodstock Music Festival enabled musicians to express their frustration to thousands. Some historians believe that protest songs were critical in swaying public opinion against the Vietnam War pressuring Congress to stop funding the conflict and paving the way for peace. One thing's for sure, protest music is an art form that's alive and well in 21st century America. In what ways does music hold the power to influence social change? <laughs>